Hey, and welcome back to another edition of Oily Time with Jax. This video for this week almost didn't get made because I was getting sick, but I pulled out my trusty oils and I feel much better today. So basically sick for a day, day and a half maybe, and here I am. So hey, welcome back. So this week we're gonna cover cold and flu and just the overall uh, that you feel when you're sick, right? It's never good and it sucks the life out of you and now is a busy, busy time of year, right? Especially for my friends in the US as their Thanksgiving is coming up. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about obviously cold and flu and also talk to you about um, a, just a DIY face wash that helps just keep your face clean because you know when you get snotty and you just feel gross and your breath and everything just keep your face clean and it's really easy DIY hacks for you okay so for cold and flu obviously we're going to use some thieves get that stuff going diffuse the heck out of it yeah that's what I'm saying diffuse your thieves put it on the bottom of your feet top half of the bottom of your foot right the Vitaflex points and you're gonna to want to um, put it on your neck well, if you're me, that's what I do. I put it on my neck. Now, it is a hot oil, meaning it's gonna feel warm to the skin. So I would suggest putting some jojoba, some coconut, or the V6 oil from Young Living, and um, mix the drops in your fingers first. Put a couple of drops of the carrier oil and a couple of drops of thieves, and put it on your throat. If you have a sore throat, it really helps. Um, the, the pain and just the scratchiness that I had in my throat. Um, if you're brave, put a drop over the bridge of your nose you can actually um, put some carrier oil on that first I highly suggest that uh, I'm used to it so I go straight but uh, when you're first using it please 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 use some carrier oil so a drop and a drop and just over the bridge of the nose it really helped my sinuses then I used RC yeah RC I made a jojoba RC kind of rub um, for myself and put that right on my chest but I came up or didn't come up with I did not come up with this. This is actually a recipe I found. I cannot take credit for it, but it was fantastic. And I actually ended up making this in my uh, state. I'm like, oh, I need something. You know, you want your mom and you want to feel good. So this is, are the things that I did for cold and flu. <clears throat> you can hear I still have a little bit of something still sticking around, but the oils got me back so I could actually function and get on with here at this house getting Christmas together. All right, so I'm gonna start and first off with that uh, facial wash, because it was really handy uh, for me. So I think you guys will get something out of it. And I will put a recipe card at the end of this portion of it, so you don't have to take notes right now. You can actually just pause on the recipe card, okay? So we're gonna use a quarter cup of Castile soap, the unscented kind. You don't wanna get it with lavender or anything in it because you don't know where that lavender came from right and put your own lavender in it but for this we're not going to use lavender um the cleansing face wash is fantastic so dr bonner's uh unscented castile soap is what i've been using um i find it really nice and if you guys have other castile soaps that you love uh please put them in the comments below love to know what other uh, castile soap that i can trust it is out there right because i don't know everything um, okay, so we're gonna use the Castile soap, the unscented, like I mentioned, and then three to four drops of vitamin E oil, right? We wanna put that in there because that's really good for skin. And then half a teaspoon of almond oil as your carrier, right? Try that, a half a cup of almond oil. And then you wanna make sure you've got an empty foaming soap bottle, right? So we're gonna put all these ingredients in the empty foaming soap bottle. Then we're gonna add 10 drops of helichrysum and fill the rest with distilled water. And that's it. So you want to fill it to just about that much at the top because when you put the cap back in, the foaming soap pump cap, um, you'll notice that the water rises because you're, you know, dissipating the uh, water with the actual uh, pump top. You know what I'm saying? For some reason, I'm still a little bit, eh, but I'm here. So we're doing this. Okay, then shake well and just use, you know, two pumps. Get that on your face. Make sure your face is damp and it just feels so good, all right? And just especially after blowing your nose all the time, you can see I'm a bit red. The lavender on that helped heal that part of it. Um, you'll feel good. I'm saying I'm a lot. I guess I'm the word for the day. Here we are. All right, the one you've been waiting for and the one that really helped me is this DIY vapor rub, right? So 
uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna read this recipe uh, probably a little bit more because I do not have the memory right now to memorize this. So here we go. It's half a cup of coconut oil, two tablespoons of finely grated beeswax, and yes, you can get that on Amazon or your health food store, uh, and then we're gonna have the oils. So we're gonna do 10 drops of eucalyptus, 10 drops of peppermint, 10 drops of clove, and 10 drops of lavender, right? Um, the eucalyptus, I used eucalyptus radiata, there's three kinds that we have at Young Living. I used the radiata, eucalyptus radiata. Eucalyptus globius you can use, um, it's just a little stronger. Okay, then we're gonna melt our coconut oil and the beeswax. You can use a double boiler, but it's really easy if you just take a pot and a glass jar, put two inches of water in the pot, put your glass jar in, get it boiling, and then have the half cup of coconut oil and the two tablespoons of beeswax in there and let it melt down. Just kind of stir it, get it going, right? And then your glass jars already half done, right? So pull out your glass jar, jar, be careful, it will be hot, and let it cool slightly. And then we're gonna add the oils. And I'll have the recipe card for that at the end of this as well. Um, then you're gonna stir that in the essential oils and let it cool and get that top back on. Mason jars are really good for this kind of thing. You can get the mini ones or you can do a bigger batch and get a, a taller one. Just remember you're going to be sticking your fingers in there to get that out or however you want to. Um, so that's it and it really really helped. Now if you're going to be using this on kids make sure you modify the amount of oils go in there. With kids dilution is key right so you want to maybe do a little bit more coconut oil and make a bigger batch and more beeswax or you can just cut the um, amount of essential oils by half. So it would be five drops of each. Okay. So this should help you get feeling better once you get the cold and flu. Uh, if it's going around your area, it certainly is going around here and get you back so you can get busy doing your holiday season. All right. Now remember, uh, if you like what I'm doing, please hit the like bell. And I always say like bell, like button and hit the subscribe bell. Then you'll know when another video is about to drop. I drop them on Wednesdays. It's called Wellness Wednesday and uh, I love doing them. So let me know that you're liking them and I'll keep going. Okay, now don't forget to go to the person who sent you here to get your oils. And of course, if you don't have an oil person, I can be your oil lady. All right, I hope you all are feeling better and have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Until next time, stay safe and happy oiling.